what is going on so mr seven pointer that i shot and killed and harvested on saturday of last week it is now friday of the following week he is getting ready for a boil the lower jaw has been separated and i've cleaned out a lot of the junk but still need to clean a good bit of it boy that stinks Whew. um so we are getting set up here for the simmering process so what i'm going to do first is just give this skull a good rinse real quick and then we'll flip it over real quick here got a little bit of leaves and stuff but as you can see i've got a good majority of the junk off but i'd like to boil it just to get every little piece off and make it nice and yeah so let's go ahead and fill up this pot here um just got the deer skull in here now it's cold water nothing's in it yet just trying to see the level just want to get it just above the head right below the antlers and then i'll take it out and wrap the antlers all right i've got the skull out now i've got the perfect amount of water in the pot here and we are going to wrap the skull in some plastic wrap the antlers not the skull and tape it up and then we're gonna hook up our propane tank and try to get it to a simmer and then once i figure out where the simmer is at and not a boil i will place the skull inside of the pot all right we've got the antlers protected all right we've got the propane hooked up we've got the ignition on so she burning I'm gonna give it a few minutes and see what this water does. I've got it, I don't know, maybe halfway turned up. So we'll see if that boils it or just simmers it. We'll go from there. All right, so I'm gonna add about this much dish detergent, dish soap. And I don't know how much baking soda to add. I read online somewhere about a box. Sorry for my kids screaming, but I'm gonna add, I'm not gonna add a whole box. I'm gonna add, I don't know. That was a good amount right there. I'll probably leave it like that. All right, well, I didn't get it to a boil, but I stuck my hand in there. And I think she's pretty much at a simmer. You can kind of see the water moving. I think that's just, just simmering right before a boil. So we're gonna stick the skull in. Hopefully we don't touch these antlers. It's just about perfect right there. Just barely covering the top, barely. It's been about an hour and a half of this skull simmering. We're gonna do an update. It's looking pretty good. I caught it earlier, it was doing a little bit of a boil, so I had to turn it down some more, but. Oh yeah, she's cleaning up nice. All that crap out of the nose. Starting to come out. Stuff on the side of the face is gone. It's looking pretty darn clean. We're gonna do a peroxide or bleach bath after this. <sighs> Let's see how the inside of the brain's looking. Looking pretty clean. I do have a little bit of junk in there. I'm gonna have to probably pick out after this, but overall she's looking good. I'm gonna give her about another hour and a half just to do a full, full on, uh, cleanse that should be good all right we'll check back in about another hour and a half and then we'll unwrap the antlers and we'll see where we stand all right y'all it is the next day i uh fell asleep last night when this thing was boiling so that wasn't great 
woke up in the middle of the night, came and shut it off. So it cooked for way longer than it needed to. But nothing's really broken. I do have the typical nose pieces that fell out. Uh, I took the top two off. But this skull is looking pretty darn good. Pretty clean. The only thing I got left to clean out. Let's see if I can show you here. Um, is up in this nasal. There you go. You can see it right there. Right up in here. I don't get a bug on my finger. Right up underneath this little part right here, there's some dead maggots from previous that would not come out. Anyway, gonna have to pick out these little maggots right here. That is pretty much it, y'all. I mean, this thing is looking pretty sweet. Um, I am going to try to whiten up a little bit more. Like, you can kind of see some of the darkness here. On that side of the skull, I'm gonna put it in this little bucket here and I'm gonna fill it up with peroxide and just let it soak for a while. So let's get to picking. All right, I have picked out a lot of that. You can't really see much of it in there anymore. There's a tiny little junk pile inside this rear hole here. Can't really see it on camera, but I'm gonna give it one good flush again and then I think we're ready for peroxide. Get all up in that nose without trying to break it any more than it already is. All right, let's see if I can see anything in there. I think it's pretty cleaned out. And then try to fill up this old brain area. Just about. There's like one little maggot left on the inside there. And then whatever this little piece is here, I don't know what happened here. Oh. Things are just really fragile on this skull because I cooked it so flipping long. But it's still looking alright. It's salvageable. It's my first one. <laughs> 